Hey everybody, my name is Gideon welcome back for a new series or just a new video in itself. Time to, I wanted kind of to play a new game for you guys. Well, it's not a new game, it's an old game, but for me it's new, uh, basically. So, from what I understand, it's like a simulation text-based game. I've already played the tutorial a little bit, I kind of like it quite a lot. It's the type of thing where you go along, it's going to give you a scenario on text. You got to read it out loud, of course, and then you respond and you can respond whatever you want. And the game is supposed to be generating something from it. So you can decide whatever you want. It's like an RPG type of situation. You can choose whatever you want to do. It's a really fun game. I think you guys are going to enjoy play, uh, watching me play this, uh, watching some different goofy scenarios happening. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen and everything because anything can happen. But uh, I kind of want to do straight away, like jump in it. So let's start an adventure. I don't know which one I want to do. Uh, explore worlds, recommended. So exploring worlds would be great. Cyberpunk, that's interesting. Custom, archive, Halloween, zombies, apocalyptic, mystery, fantasy. Explore worlds seems like the good idea for me to start it up, right, for today. Uh, archive. Halloween, I don't know about that. Uh, Cyberpunk custom would be... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure what custom means, to be honest. Not sure. Maybe we can create, like, history type of thing. Where we can change history of the world. But for today, you know what we're going to do for today, boys? We're just going to do explore worlds. That means basically space exploration or something like that. I'm not sure. Let's just do that. Let's just do explore worlds and let's... Let's see what we got. Okay. So all the worlds. Oh, okay. So uh, it should. It gives us uh, different stuff that we can do. Okay. So steampunk, sci-fi. So we can choose fantasy, dark. So what type of world do we want to go into, boys? Dark worlds, uh, fantasy worlds, steampunk, sci-fi. I think sci-fi world would be great uh, for us. Post-apocalyptic. Let's do sci-fi, boys, and Maelstrom. Uh, let me let me see real quick. Is there anything else? I don't see really anything. Uh, Seven hundred scales. Is that the amount of things that I actually need in order to unlock this? I can't play these. Okay, so I can probably just play fantasy then, right? I think uh, that's what's going on here. I think that's the closest we got to basically Star Wars slash Lord of the Rings, right? Lord of the Rings is fantasy. So I think that's the closest I kind of uh, I want to be uh, stick at because that's what I kind of know the best. So let's just go for fantasy right now, boys. All right, select the character. Who are we gonna be? A princess? Absolutely not. A knight? Could be interesting. A wizard? A witch? Ranger? Squire? Peasant? Rogue? Fairy? Um, what do we want to be, boys? You know what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a wizard. Uh, I kind of want to be a wizard. I'm not going to lie. Being Gandalf and all seems like a great idea. Or you know what? No, I'm going to be a ranger. I'm going to be a ranger. Why not? Let's do that. Let's be a ranger. All right. So en enter your name's character. You already know, boys. Who more than uh, Aragorn? Let's go, man. We're going to try and, um, and create the world of uh, Lord of the Rings. Why not, boys? Just create the world of Lord of the Rings. Fuck it, man. Let's do it. Generating the story. Let's do this shit. Starting as Aragon. Let's see if we can't um, legit modify the story of Lord of the Rings right here. So you are Aragon, a ranger living in the kingdom of Rayon. Okay, so you have a hunting bow and a quiver of arrows. You have been searching for a mystical beast for three months, tracking it through the forest. As you crouch behind a clump of trees, you see a black shape running below. You draw your bow and arrow and try to focus your aim between the trees. You aim, your aim is true, and the arrows fly straight and true into the uh, into the shadows. I think I'm gonna just simply say kill the beast with a perfect shot, boys. I'm just gonna be myself. I'm gonna be super OP and stuff. So kill the beast. You kill the beast with a perfect shot. There I go. You release the arrow and the black shape falls to the ground. 
you climb up the tree and draw your knife and uh, and give a perfect shot to the head. Aha, you say, and walk back to camp. All right, all right, all right. So what do you do? Uh, long synthesis fractions are no problem. Get creative. Okay, let's create some a bit of uh, a, a strange thing. This is like my, the writer in me right there thinking. So you, while walking through the woods, you encounter a mysterious hooded figure. There I go. Uh, on the way the, through the forest, you glanced up at the trees and noticed a gray figure, uh, figure cloaked in the shadows. You quicken your pace and raise your shield as the figure materializ uh, materializes out of the shadow. There we go. So now here comes the part where we're going to be introduced Gandalf to the story, boys. All right, boys, so I've got my answer right here. It took me a while to actually read it down for myself to make it uh, sound a little bit uh, purposeful. So the figure proclaims itself to be an ancient wizard by the name of Gandalf the Grey and seeks friendship alongside of a shelf. Uh, of a shelter to spend the night. I don't think it. Uh, I don't know if it makes sense, but I hope the, I hope the game understands what I'm trying to say. Basically, so you offer your hand to help him up, and he gladly takes it. Thank you for your generous offer, but I am not in need of any help. Oh, really? So he doesn't need any help. All right, all right. So I'm just gonna say, uh, tell him. Well, then perhaps you would like to accompany me while I head back to the camp uh, to my camp. I'm gonna ask him if he wants to be a company, uh, uh, wants some company, boys. So uh, I, I say that to him. Ah, yes, that would be most welcome, he says. You, uh, could you direct me to the nearest road? Okay. So he wants me to direct, uh, di direct him to the nearest road. Why, why don't you just follow me? There we go. Follow me and I will show you the right way, buddy. There we go. Just like that, boys. I'll let him interact. Let's see what he's gonna say. Well then, I'll be sure to keep up. He replies with a laugh and continues to follow you. All right, all right, I like that. That sounds like a little bit of a Gandalf right there, a little bit of a laugh. He's uh, smirking a little bit. I like that, I like that quite a lot. Suddenly, I get ambushed by a band of orcs. While following the wizard, you notice a band of orcs start stalking the road in front of you. There I go. You are surprised to see this and think to yourself that they should be aware of enemies around them. Uh, all right, so let's see what we got. There we go. Let's see. So you draw your sword and point it in the direction of the enemy. The orcs appear to be around 50 in number and are surrounding a man on the ground. Uh, you notice that this man is not holding any weapons. All right. Uh, how do we do this? I do still have Gandalf with me. Remember, boys, I still have Gandalf with me. All right, so I'm going to say I demand the immediate surrender of the orcs or else the wizard and I will be forced to confront them. There we go. I'm not sure they want to face a wizard and not me at the same time, boys. So you demand this, uh, the immediate surrender of the orcs or else the wizard and you will be forced to confront them. The or orc chief appears to be an older orc who is much bigger and older than the rest. He looks at you with a mixture of curiosity and annoyance. Having a sight, he addresses you. All right. What, did I, what could he possibly tell me, boys? Let's see. Turning, uh, no, he says. <laughs> Turning to the orcs, he shouts at them to kill the man on the ground. The orcs oblige his demands and rush towards the forward to handle the situation. All right. All right, boys. We're going to be super rough on that one. So I decide to charge him. So let's see, boys. You charge into the enemy with result and manage to kill the leader before the uh, before the wizards intervenes and start burning starts burning the orcs alive. You rush into the thick end of the battle with fury and rage in your heart. You manage to make it to the center and s and see the orc chief on the ground with a throat with his throat chopped open. There we go, boys. I'm just gonna say you should have listened to me, my guy. There we go. I'm just going to reply him. But you have lost control over the situation. The orcs are already beginning to overwhelm the both of you. Seeing there is no chance of surviving this fight, you put your hands up and embrace death. No, I'm not going to die already. But suddenly, all right, you know what? I am not about to die uh, for uh, it's, uh, against orcs. This is not going to happen. All right, boys. Suddenly, you s suddenly a bright light emerges from the wizard staffs and blinds all the, uh, the orcs. Let's see what happens then. 
after the stunning light fades, you notice that the orcs have all been put to sleep. You are safe. The wizard turns to you, and with a friendly face, he says... Okay, so what does he say? Uh, what, does this, uh, what does he tell me uh, right here? I'm not exactly sure what he, what he would tell me. All right, I'm just going to say you should be more careful next time. I will be uh, always there to save you. I think that should be him telling me that. So I'm not sure if I'd be able to do apostrophes or, any, or anything. So uh, should be more careful next time. You laugh and decide to change the subject. So what's the plan? I have saved you from an orc ambush. But what are, uh, what are you planning to do now? He, gi he gives out a big, uh, a big grin. Uh, all right, so... What do we do from there, boys? And I'm not sure because it's so fun to actually uh, like decide stuff like this. So I'm not entirely sure. So uh, you laugh and decide to change the subject. So what? Uh, what's the plan? I have saved you from an orc ambush, but what are you planning to do now? Uh, he gives out a big grin. So um, I'm basically playing uh, playing uh, the wizard now. I'm playing Gandalf. All right, so. If I'm still playing uh, or talking as Gandalf, I'm just going to say, well, I was actually searching for a golden ring. There we go. Little Easter egg right there, boys. And I was wondering if you would be like, uh, if w if you would like, not be like, that doesn't say, that, you can't say that. If you would like to help me find it. Let's see what I, uh, let's see what it's going to answer to that, boys. At first, you think he is joking. But then you notice the huge grin on his face and you realize he is being serious. So, okay. He starts running around and calling out things like, Hey there, have you seen this? And let me check under that rock. He seems to be enjoying doing this. What the fuck is he doing? I think Gandalf is, is going crazy, boys. I think he's going crazy. All right. Now it's time, boys, to actually be super stealthy and change the story up a bit. So I, I'm going to tell him that I didn't see anything while I'm at it. Actually, I did find the ring, but I'm going to hide it in my bag because I don't want to give it to him. Seems like an interesting ring right there. All right. So I didn't see anything hiding the ring in your bag. There I go. He turns towards another direction. Hmm, nothing here. He then does a complete circle. Nope, not here either. It finally sits down on a big rock. I'm sure you'll find it eventually. There we go. I'm just going to be, I'm going to try to, to be a bit sneaky on that one. Let's see what he does to respond to that. He starts looking at an orb. An orb? A palinti or something? What the fuck? Then starting, staring at the ground and finally stretch, uh, scratching his head. After about half an hour, he turns to you. It's gone. I'm sorry. Well, uh, that's fine. No need to apologize, I guess. All right, so I'm just going to say no need to apologize. It's not me who's looking for that uh, for the ring, uh, for that ring, boys. He shakes his head, but it is somewhere air around here and starts getting up. Well, I should probably go home now. All right, then, if you say so, I'm just going to tell him that uh, this is a goodbye for now. Let's see what he an answers me, boys. He nods. A good one, I hope, and starts walking away. Goodbye. You wave as he, uh, as he is walking away and think that it was a pleasant encounter. It sure wasn't a, pl a pleasant encounter, boys. So now the next thing is uh, we're going to stop it right here. You guys are probably going to need to chime in on what we do next. Because the wizard, which is Gandalf in this situation, was looking for the ring. All right, so missing ring. Now he says it's a golden ring. Now it could be, it could Either be the One Ring, in this case, or the Narya. Uh, so you guys can choose which one it is. He misplaced the ring. All right, he misplaced the ring. He lost it. I happen to find it, and I'm hiding it in my bag. Now, I don't know what I want to do with it just yet. Do I want to turn evil? Do I want Aragon to just straight up put the ring on his fingers or whatever? What are we going to do with this story? You guys let me know. And uh, I'll uh, head back to you once uh, we have the decisions on your head, boy, uh, hand, boys. So I'm going to put up a poll uh, after this video comes out. I'm going to pull up a poll. I'm going to ask you guys what is the next move do you want me to that you want me to do? Uh, are we going to turn evil? Are we going to turn? Are we going to still be good? What's going to happen here? 
that's going to be interesting. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.